my name is Annette and you may know me as Netter's Plays. And today on Applied Mechanics, I'm going to go over the game of Hardback. So this card game is a word game where you're trying to spell different words. However, it's also a deck builder. So let me show you a little bit about this game and why I really like it. So here you have the whole setup of the game. Each player is going to have a starting deck and the first thing they'll do is draw a hand of five cards. So on your turn, you're going to try to spell a word with the letters in your hand. These cards will also give you benefits like coins or points, and you can always use the coins in order to purchase other cards that are in the offer row at a certain price. This price right here is six coins, but it will give you even more benefits and a new letter to add to your deck. If you ever get stuck and cannot spell a word, then you can always flip over the card and it becomes a wild. It represents any letter in the alphabet. If you ever spell a word where you have cards that have the same genre or type, then they will synergize and they will benefit one another. So instead of just gaining the top benefit of the card, you also get the bottom benefit of both cards. The game also lets you play with these ink tokens. The black token will allow you to draw more cards, but you have to play those cards on your turn. But if you also play it along with a white ink bottle, then you can just draw that into your hand and you don't have to play that card. If you ever play with a timeless classic card, then you can just place this card in front of you. You don't have to discard it, but you also offer it to your opponents. So as you can see, this game is not just about collecting letter cards and forming words. What you're trying to do is build an engine, an engine through deck building. You're trying to build these different synergies in the cards that you're collecting, and you're trying to have these perfect combinations in your hand. Also, what I really enjoy about this deck builder is the fact that these cards can be flipped over and used as wild letters. So if you ever get stuck in spelling these different words, well, you don't need the specific letters. You can make the cards wild. And that's why I really like this game. Well, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.